zipper pulls. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about paracord zipper pulls. One of the questions we get asked the most is how to make your own paracord zipper pulls. Um, many people like to replace the factory ones that they get on a backpack when they buy it. Um, so we're going to be going over how to do that and also some zipper pull ends that we would recommend if you want to have a little bit more finished look. Let's dive in. So I've got a backpack here with a couple of the zipper pulls already taken off. You can see that the existing ones on there are look about like paracord anyway. It's going to be some kind of nylon rope. Um, I'm going to be using 375 paracord that's going to fit best in in these plastic pulls. To start off I'm just going to use the same cord to make a paracord zipper pull without the plastic end on it. And then I'll go into some of the, the pieces that you can put on. For this I'm going to be using the Cobra Weave and just begin by threading it right through your zipper pull. Um, this one doesn't have the metal tabs on it but you can attach it to the metal tabs too if you'd like. I've got another backpack back here with a few metal tabs on it and you can do a, a cow hitch through the, the top and bottom hole on the metal tab. These are done with 95 cord. I, I like them but they're a little bit harder to grab just on the go so I'm going to be using this bigger cord today. So find the middle of your cord once you thread it through and then go out about three inches or so and then just begin doing the cobra right there. It's, it's similar to if you've done a Mad Max closure on a bracelet. You just start making the the cobra weave without anything on the end. So to go over that slower here, put one cord over the top, this one over that cord, but then around the back and through the loop. And you want to keep the same cord on top at all times. So this cord here is going to go back and forth over the top. This one's going back and forth on the back side. So lay it over the top again, and then around the back and through. And we'll just do that down the, the short length here. Pull tight after each one and slide your weave together to keep it tight. All right, and then when you get close to your zipper, you can just leave a little bit excess there so it'll hang down and stay out of the way. So I'll just cut the ends off. I only used about a foot of paracord in this, so it's a great way to use up scraps that you have laying around. So I've seen people do this a number of different ways as far as colors. Um, a lot of people like to coordinate the colors or do a separate color for each pocket in their backpack so that it's easy to remember where they put things. Um, one especially good idea that I've heard is, is using red for whatever pocket they have an emergency first aid kit in. So if they were ever in trouble and couldn't help themselves, they could say to anybody else, just get it out of the, the pocket with the red pulls. So that's the straight paracord zipper pull, just using scraps that you might have lying around. Um, now we're going to go over some of the plastic cord ends that you can use, such as this one right here. Starting with those, um, these zipper pulls just usually have two pieces or fold shut in some way. And so to take them off, you'll need like a scissors or a, a screwdriver. To put new ones on, you just stick the, the cords through the end, and this one you have to stick it through this hole as well. And then clamp them in the, the plastic teeth of the insert. Each pull is a little bit different that way. You just have to figure out how yours work. Um, most of them, to get them off, you just can stick a, a scissors or some other tool in the end there. Some of the other varieties that exist, I'm sure you've seen ones like this that fold shut. These heart-shaped or triangle ones are also pretty popular. Kind of an interesting twist on a zipper pull is this whistle one right here. So it's got a, a built-in whistle, so it's great for like a hiking backpack. Um, there's lots more kinds like this. I'll put a link to a bunch of the more popular kinds down in the description to this video. Um, but they're all fairly similar to 
to take off and on and a great way to customize your bag. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions on how to replace zipper pulls or any kinds that we didn't cover, definitely ask us in the comments or find us on our new forum website at forums.paracordplanet.com. We'll include a link to a page where you can find all of these zipper pulls as well as a bunch of other popular varieties. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Otherwise, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.